Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm going to show you a really simple Bommel killing strat. I, on the free to play, needed to get Bommel 90 down on normal. And, you know, I was looking around, there's not really a lot of content on Bommel normal because most of the content's based on beating Bommel 90 hard, where the, the kind of more mid to end game players are. Well, this same strat is going to work on Bommel 50 normal and Bommel 90 normal. And it's super easy to do low level builds, all that type of stuff. So hopefully this helps a ton of people out. What I'll do, I'll show you the run. Uh, I will say like, if anyone is just in this for like, how do I get past Bommel 10? Bommel 10, you can just brute force honestly with anyone. Like you could go in there, as long as you've got yourself some people that are already doing a bit of work on clan boss, you should just be able to brute force it with any damage dealers. Like, you know, your, your normal type of, um, champions that you've built out so far providing you've got you know maybe you've been playing for 20 days or something you should you should have maybe a couple of level 60s and you shouldn't really find yourself with any sort of problem so i haven't bought this strat down to that next level down just because i feel like you should anyone should be able to beat bommel, bommel 10 once you've been playing for a little while i don't even care about the bombs popping because we're going to kill bommel way before those bombs even get a chance I guess the only risk is if you're throwing loads of debuffs out, like I've thrown quite a few out in fairness, if you're throwing loads out, then you might stun yourself up enough times to die, but just run it again, you'll be fine. But yeah, what we're going to do here is Bommel 50, Bommel 90, same build, and I'm using Crimson Helm. Now there is a rare who is free to get, uh, it's farmable rare called Templar, who does the same job. The only thing with Templar, which I don't like, some people will be using him fine. Templar's got this A1 with a chance to put decreased speed on the boss. Now, for most of these type of strats, uh, there, there are specific speeds that you need. And if you slow Bommel down, there's potential that you ruin your run. So this is just a bit of a watch out if you're gonna do the Templar one, but it's the same ability, which is the block damage ability that he places. And again, it's on the same cooldown, which, which is basically what you need. So he is an alternative. He's also the same affinity, which is a strong affinity against Bommel, which helps. So Crimson Helm here, uh, what I've done is I've just applied my basic gear that I've got through farming so far. I'm two months into the game. And honestly, like, I've barely been in Finite. I've, I've farmed Finite about 150 times. I don't, you know that Chronicle we've got recently where it showed us our stats? I'd done about 150 finite runs and it was basically like my only set I have for regen gear. But you do need regen gear, ideally with immortal gear. But I think for normal, you could get away with not having immortal gear even and just doing the regen. And um, super easy stats. So 151 to 158 is the speed range. Other than that, all you want is HP and defense. I've got way more than I need here. I, I, I'm in no risk of dying at any point in this build. So 151 speed, defense and HP. You can see on all of my pieces, I was just like, get some speed on it, get some HP on it, um, get some defense on it, HP on the gloves, HP on the chest, and obviously speed on the boots. And then things like your ring, obviously HP, defense, same thing, just defensive stats. You won't hit hard. Because you don't hit hard, I had to take Crimson Helm up to six star and get Warmaster. Without Warmaster, I couldn't do it in the turn count. I could do it in terms of staying alive, but I didn't do enough damage against Bommel to get it done before I ran out of turns. Now, the cool thing with this is it's full auto and you don't need any books. And for a low level account that's trying to just get themselves that void shard from Bommel 90 or get to the next level of Doom Tower, not having to use books is just so valuable. So you can see here, totally unbooked. Don't care about any of this stuff. All I care about is the block damage ability on a four turn cooldown. If you book this up to three turn, the same champion, Crimson Helm, would be able to do Bommel hard, but the stat requirement goes up a lot. Bommel hard is obviously a much, much higher stat need. If you, if you kept her unbooked, then you'd need nearly double the speed that I'm running now. You'd need about 286 speed to beat Bommel hard 90 which is very, and obviously more defense, more HP, that type of stuff. But yeah, we'll see it run in here. The way I've set this up is that I've got a couple of people to just help me kill the waves. 
and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. So I've got um, this preset up team here. The only thing I care about is Crimson Helm. Don't use your A3 on the boss. And then I've got Kale in here and Juliana just doing some damage. Juliana and Kale both need to be dead before we get onto the boss so that everything lines up properly. So they're really just in here to speed up the early, early part of the fight. It could be any champions. You just need to make sure that you let them die before you get to the boss. Otherwise, you'll just mess things up. Um, so on this second wave, you can see I'm not using all of my main abilities with Kale and Juliana. I'm being very safe the way I do this, um, just, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Uh, as soon as Juliana dies, you know, so I'm not killing like the, the easy kill. Um, I'm not gaining much in terms of damage and stuff from Crimson Helm. I gained a, a bit with my mastery, so I gain an extra 10% damage with Rafa the Slain. Um, I haven't got the masteries which improve my speed, which I could take, which would mean I'd need even less speed in my build. Um, so I've kept it as, as kind of like clean as possible. Crimson Helm's in no threat of dying here. So I'll let this play through. You can see we're taking ba barely any damage and I'll get us onto the boss. Okay, important element. You need to manual this part. A1 first. A1 again. Now I can hit full auto. I've turned off the A3. She's never going to do it. And she's going to A2 um, whenever it's available. And what this will do is it will just line up the A2, the block damage, with when the bombs explode. And that's the only risk of dying. Okay, so you can see in terms of the damage we're doing, my hits are only hitting for like 3 to 4k, but the Warmaster hit hits for like 9k. So this is going to be a longish run. Uh, it's about 10, 11 minutes. Uh, what I did, I went, got myself some dinner, <laughs> came back, it worked. I've, I've then tested it a couple more times. It works absolutely fine. I'm never in any threat of being dead. That's the main thing. So I let it play through uh, so you can just kind of see that in fast speed. And uh, yeah, then we'll wrap up. So there you go, really simple 
build. You do need that War Master, which means you do need six star on her. But um, yeah, and, and if you don't have a Crimson Helm, you could try it with a Templar. Just make sure you put like zero accuracy in your build. He'll do the same job at the same speeds. Um, but yeah, just got that risk element of his A1 putting a decreased speed on, which may mean you just need to run it a couple of times or whatever. Um, but yeah, hope that helps some people get through Bommel and I'll see you in the next one.